Here are five bugs some of our clients thought were bed bugs. First up, we have the odd beetles. These are commonly mistaken for baby bed bugs because they're small, can sometimes show up on a bed, and without zooming in, you can easily mistake them for a bed bug. They're in the family Dermistidae, not simicid like bed bugs. Like all beetles, odd beetles undergo complete metamorphosis, whereas the bed bug does not. The bed bug does not have a larval or a pupal stage. Next up, we have carpet beetle larvae. Since bed bugs do not have a larval stage, this one is easy to immediately let folks know that it's not related to bed bugs. The carpet beetle larvae can wreak havoc in our bed, box springs, or furniture. The name is actually a little misleading because you can find them just about anywhere, not just carpets. The larvae can infest box springs, clothing, closets, wood structures with fibers, and just about anything that has natural fibers. Deep crack and crevice vacuuming is required, plus a lot of washing and drying. The pirate bug nymph. Although they have the piercing and sucking mouth parts like bed bugs, they don't feed on blood. Instead, they feed on plants. Minute pirate bugs are considered beneficial because they feed on aphids, mites, caterpillars, and other small insects. If you keep finding these in your home, they could be coming in from cut flowers that you put in a vase. Bird mites. Bird mites are tiny bugs one millimeter in length that you may find crawling on your mattress, electronics, or walls. This is especially true if you have a bird that's nesting near your window or within the roof of your house. Bird mites can get in and feed on you too. Although these bird mites prefer to feed on birds, they will also bite humans and other animals. They can leave itchy red welts like bed bugs, which is why sometimes they can be confused for bed bugs. Book lice. Although book lice don't bite, they're one of the most popular bugs we get for photo identification. Due to their light color, many folks think that they're baby bed bugs. Despite having the name lice in their name, they're not related to lice at all and are not considered parasitic. Instead, book lice like damp, warm environments, especially ones with mildew, mold, or paper products. So if you think you found any of these bugs, feel free to send a photo to us for identification. There'll be a link in the description on our contact page. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button.